Bead BD-5, designed by Jim Bead, is a compact, single-seat, home-built aircraft that captured the imagination of the 1970s aviation community. Its sleek, jet-inspired design combined affordability with a fighter-like aesthetic, making it an iconic microplane. The BD-5 features a streamlined fuselage, retractable landing gear, and a distinctive V-tail, all contributing to excellent aerodynamic efficiency. Early versions had a negative stagger cantilevered wing with conventional landing gear, constructed from welded steel tubing and sheet metal, with wings covered in plywood. It was typically powered by an 85 horsepower Continental C85 engine, providing impressive performance relative to its tiny size. The compact cockpit places rudder pedals close to the engine compartment, highlighting the BD-5's innovative, space-efficient design. This micro-aircraft was not just about looks. It offered fighter-like handling and a unique flying experience in a home-built package. In short, the Bead BD-5 is a legend of miniature aviation, combining creativity, engineering ingenuity, and accessibility, leaving a lasting mark on experimental aircraft design. Bumblebee 2 the Bumblebee II, crafted by Robert Starr, is an experimental aircraft designed with one ambitious goal, to become the world's smallest airplane. Built in Phoenix, Arizona, it successfully reclaimed the title from the Stitz SA-2 Sky Baby, cementing its place in aviation history. This tiny biplane is powered by a modified Urco Air Coupe engine, producing 112 horsepower, giving it remarkable performance for its diminutive size. Despite its compact dimensions, the Bumblebee II demonstrates the ingenuity and precision engineering of its creators, balancing extreme miniaturization with controlled functional flight. Like its predecessor, the Bumblebee I, this aircraft emphasizes experimentation and pushing boundaries rather than comfort or utility. Every aspect of its design, from the wings to the landing gear, is optimized for minimal scale while remaining flight-worthy. In short, the Bumblebee II stands as a milestone in small aircraft development, embodying creativity, ambition, and the relentless pursuit of breaking aviation records. It's a testament to what is possible when engineering meets imagination. Stitz SA-2A Sky Baby The Stitz SA-2A Sky Baby, designed by Ray Stitz and Robert H. Starr, is famous for being one of the smallest airplanes ever built, created purely to explore the extreme limits of flight. This single-engine, single-seat biplane features a striking negative stagger wing layout, conventional landing gear, and an enclosed cockpit that adds to its unusual character. Constructed from welded steel tubing and covered in aircraft fabric, the Sky Baby is simple, strong, and purpose-built. Its compact structure places the pilot very close to the engine, with the rudder pedals positioned beneath the oil sump, an ingenious solution that highlights just how tightly everything is packaged. The Sky Baby isn't about comfort or long-distance travel. It exists as a bold engineering experiment, proving that controlled flight is possible at incredibly small scales. Demanding constant attention and precision from the pilot, it represents a raw, hands-on flying experience few aircraft can match. In short, the Stitz SA-2A Sky Baby is a legendary piece of aviation history. Quirky, daring, and brilliantly engineered, it stands as a symbol of experimental aviation and the relentless curiosity that drives designers to challenge what seems possible in the sky. Crycree MC-15 The Crycree MC-15, designed by Michel Colomban, is famous for being the world's smallest twin-engine aircraft, blending clever engineering with pure simplicity. Built as a single-seat, low-wing airplane, it features an enclosed cockpit and an ultralight structure made from aluminum and Clegacel foam keeping weight to an absolute minimum without sacrificing strength. Despite its tiny size, the MC-15 delivers surprisingly strong performance. Its twin centrally mounted engines provide redundancy while remaining approachable for pilots certified on single-engine aircraft. The Crycree can reach speeds of up to 220 km per hour and offers a respectable range of around 460 km, making it far more capable than its size suggests. What truly sets the MC-15 apart is its agility. The aircraft is fully aerobatic, giving skilled pilots the ability to perform loops, rolls, and other maneuvers with ease. Its compact dimensions also make storage and transport remarkably convenient, fitting into spaces where traditional aircraft simply wouldn't. In short, the Crycree MC-15 is a brilliant example of minimalist aviation design. Small, fast, aerobatic, and ingeniously engineered. 
It's a perfect machine for enthusiasts who value innovation, efficiency, and the sheer joy of flight in its purest form. Piper PA-18 Super Cub. The Piper PA-18 Super Cub is more than a vintage design. It represents a lasting spirit built from aluminum, fabric, and large Tundra tires. With a 150 horsepower engine and a high lift airfoil, it cruises at around 100 knots, but truly stands out during low speed operations. With flaps deployed, stall speed is roughly 37 knots and takeoff distances range from about 200 to 500 feet or approximately 60 to 150 meters over a 50 foot obstacle, depending on weight and configuration. What makes the Super Cub memorable is how it performs away from prepared runways. It is tough, forgiving, yet always demands respect. Tailwheel handling, clear forward visibility, straightforward controls, and a long history of modifications, from floats to bush wheels, define its character. It is not just a bush aircraft. It remains a benchmark for what off-airport and outdoor flying should be. Savage Norden. The Savage Norden offers a well-balanced combination of traditional bush plane toughness and modern refinement. Powered by a standard Rotax 915 engine, producing about 141 horsepower, it features double-slotted Fowler flaps, electric leading edge slats, and a wing designed to support both efficient crews and very slow controlled landings. It performs confidently across both rolls. With a light load and favorable conditions, the takeoff roll can be reduced to around 40 meters, or roughly 130 feet. Cruise speed is respectable, exceeding 100 miles per hour at moderate RPM, particularly when equipped with a four-blade propeller. The cockpit feels more spacious than expected with excellent visibility. Practical details such as large doors, strong landing gear, and optional bush wheels enhance its off-airport capability. This is not simply a recreational aircraft, but a capable and serious platform for pilots aiming to reach areas beyond the limits of most light airplanes. Zenair CH-701. Flying the Zenith CH-701 feels like owning a bush pilot's dream built right in a home workshop. Its thick, high-lift wing, full-span leading-edge slats, and flaperons deliver extremely low stall speeds of around 28 to 30 miles per hour, allowing the aircraft to move over open fields at nearly walking speed. When lightly loaded, the takeoff roll can be as short as 50 feet, with landing distances under 100 feet. Cruise performance is modest, typically about 80 to 95 miles per hour, depending on engine selection. But that is not the primary focus of this aircraft. What truly matters is precise low-speed control, dependable handling, a simple and durable structure, and the ability to reach locations few other airplanes can access. For pilots drawn to off-airport flying and exploration, the CH-701 represents practical enjoyment shaped from metal and rivets. Just Aircraft Superstall. The Just Aircraft Superstall feels like an ideal backcountry machine for pilots who enjoy very short strips, uneven landings, and maximum enjoyment. Equipped with self-deploying leading-edge slats, large Fowler flaps, and durable long-travel shock landing gear, it turns terrain most pilots would avoid into usable surfaces. At its 1,320-pound maximum weight with the Rotax 912 engine, the takeoff ground roll is extremely short at about 275 feet, or roughly 84 meters. Landing performance can be even more impressive with rollouts under 100 feet when conditions allow. Cruise speed is not especially high, averaging around 90 to 110 miles per hour, particularly when fitted with large tires or carrying heavier loads. However, when the objective is reaching areas where no runway exists, the Superstall performs exceptionally. It Pilatus PC-6 Porter. The PC-6 Porter is one of those uncommon aircraft that seems purpose-built for rough environments, designed to operate where few others can. Powered by a single Pratt & Whitney PT-6 turboprop with a large wing and heavy-duty landing gear, it can carry roughly 200 kilograms of payload while still fitting into confined locations. Takeoff over a 50-foot, 15-meter obstacle requires about 440 meters, while landing distance is approximately 315 meters. Its cruise speed is modest, around 115 to 125 knots, but performance is not its main appeal. The real strength lies in its ability to transport people or cargo to high-altitude areas, operate from glacier snow, gravel, or even floats, and return to service reliably the next day. Straightforward, tough, highly practical, and widely respected, the Porter has earned its legendary status. 
The de Havilland Canada DHC-6300, widely known as the Twin Otter, is a true icon among Stoll aircraft. It is tough, adaptable, and surprisingly spacious for its compact size. Equipped with twin Pratt & Whitney PT-6A-27 engines, it can carry around 19 passengers or cargo while still taking off in roughly 1,200 feet, or about 366 meters, and landing in approximately 150 to 320 meters, depending on conditions. With a cruise speed of about 170 to 180 KTAS, it offers solid performance when moving between remote airstrips. What truly defines the aircraft is its versatility. It can operate on floats, skis, or wheels. Features fast change interiors, a durable airframe, and straightforward systems. It may not look sleek, but it reliably reaches places few other aircraft can, doing so with proven capability and character. Pilatus PC-6 Porter, the Pilatus Aeropract A-22. Flying the Aeropract A-22 feels like piloting with a built-in magnifying glass for the landscape. Every blade of grass and subtle contour of the terrain is visible. Its large bubble doors and extensive glazing provide unmatched visibility. Equipped with a Rotax 912 engine in 80 to 100 horsepower variants, it delivers sufficient power for most light aviation tasks. With full flaps, stall speed is around 60 to 70 km per hour. Takeoff roll ranges from roughly 100 to 135 meters, with landing distances similar. Cruise speed is about 150 km per hour. Not fast, but efficient and smooth. The A-22's real appeal lies in its forgiving nature and honest handling. It is capable off-strip, simple to fly, and highly responsive to pilot input. For anyone seeking a lightweight, practical stole aircraft with panoramic views, the Aeropract A-22 is a true standout. Nap Lil Cub The Nap Lil Cub is a compact yet remarkably capable aircraft built with creativity and careful design. This home-built, two-seat, high-wing tail dragger uses lightweight Oratex fabric and efficient aerodynamics to achieve extremely short takeoffs of around 11 feet, with landings just as brief when proper stole techniques are applied. Its empty weight is approximately 685 pounds, or about 311 kilograms, with a gross weight near 810 pounds, roughly 367 kilograms. Powered by a 120 horsepower Continental C85 engine, the Lil Cub cruises slowly with a maximum speed close to 54 knots. However, speed is not its purpose. Its stall speed is exceptionally low at around 17 knots. What it gives up in cruise performance, it gains in the freedom to land in places most aircraft could never reach. The result is a clear example of bush plane design taken to its purest form.